Welcome back to N1P's uh, audio blogs. This is the vlog number three of my blog series, and I usually upload a vlog maybe once a month. That's what it seems like it's been now. Um, today, this one's going to be a little bit shorter, not too, too much to talk about, really. Uh, a little bit of music, video games, and an awful uh, plane crash accident, which I will, uh, which really affected me, so we'll get to, we'll get to that one later. And uh, first we're going to start off with the hot new video games that are coming out that I can't wait to buy. Uh, you got NHL 12 and Modern Warfare 3 or Battlefield 3. Um, I wasn't too impressed with NHL 11 and NHL 10. And I was, I don't know if it was like the online or the offline, but for whatever reason the hitting would never was never working for me. Like the hit controls, if you know what I'm saying. Um... Like when I played online for NHL 11, I always had a really hard time of hitting people like, like hard. So like I'd knock them to the ground. I, I would, instead I would do like these little sissy taps or whatever, and it really pissed me off. So uh, it's the only thing I, the only problem I really had of NHL 11. In NHL 10, I thought it was a well game, but uh, the hitting was, you know, it was just really unrealistic. Just, uh, it just wasn't right. You had to, uh, you had to play it to understand what it was like. Um, but I'm excited for NHL 12. I just downloaded the demo a few weeks ago, and I've been playing it quite a bit. And I really like the smooth gameplay. I think the graphics are a lot better. The players are a lot more realistic than ever. And I think each year they keep expanding and improving on new things and make the game more realistic. So uh, EA is doing a, a fine job in NHL, and looks like that's a game I'm gonna buy. And it's gonna I'm gonna be spending a lot of money over the past uh, over the. Uh, the upcoming future. Um, also, want to get Modern Warfare 3 or Battlefield 3. I'm sticking with Modern Warfare 3. Um, looks a lot like Modern Warfare 2, like the, the gameplay and, and all that, but uh, but nonetheless, I, I'm a Call of Duty guy, so I'm going to stick with the series and see what Modern Warfare 3 is like. What excites me the most about multiplayer is like the new point streak and the new game modes they have and stuff, so I like the changes that they made there. Um, don't like the whole idea of collecting the cl the dog tags for killing somebody for team deathmatch, but you know I, don't, I never play team deathmatch anyways, so whatever. So um, so yeah, so Modern Warfare 3, I guess I'm gonna buy. And my overall thoughts on Black Ops, the game before, I thought it was a good game, but it had uh, it had its ups and downs. A lot of its downs came by like shooting through enemies or like wasting a ton of ammo just to kill somebody. It was just the little things like that, and um. Like, like, uh, I don't think it had, like, the touch like Modern Warfare 2 did. It's just, although there was, like, less la ha hacked lobbies or, like, really no hacking at all in it. So they did a really good job protecting it. It's just, gameplay was just a little bit, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but at the same time, I really did enjoy it. And I felt like I had to try really hard to be really good at the game at times. And, uh, it's like they, you know, they say, you couldn't lay back and play this game. You really had to give it your all. And, uh... Yeah, that's basically how uh, how I saw Black Ops, and I really enjoyed the zombies for uh, for Black Ops for a little bit. And there's times where I didn't like playing at all, and then I got back into it again. So I think zombies did a fine job, and overall, I think Black Ops did all right. Uh, there's a new mode coming out for Modern Warfare 3. I believe it's like a survival mode, and that looks absolutely amazing. It looks that's uh, another that's actually a big reason why I want to get the game now for Battlefield 3. I've never. I have Battlefield Bad Company too. I think it's just a terrible game. So uh, I've actually stayed away from the Battlefield series since. But uh, if I hear Battlefield Three is really good and I play it, then I'll probably get it. All right. So we're gonna move on now to. Uh, hold up here. Okay, we're gonna move on to the Russian plane crash. Oh no! What else I was gonna talk about? Um, yeah. So we'll get to the Russian plane uh, plane crash first. I forget what else I was gonna say. Fuck me. Oh, yeah, it's about Blink-182. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'll get to uh, Blink-182 first. Alright. Uh, Blink-182 just came out with a new song recently. Uh, if you're a Blink-182 fan, you would know that. It's called Up All Night, and I believe it's their new single, and it's going to be on their new album coming out soon called The Neighborhood, or something like that. I think Neighborhood, Neighborhood Kids, I don't know, something like that, around the lines of Neighborhood. But, um, yeah, already, uh, Pretty impressed with the song. It's not like uh, classic Blink-182 punk rock. It's more has like uh, angels and airwaves and boxcar racer sort of feel to it. Like it's not really like jam-packed or um, 
it's just not like the old Blink-182, but it's a good song to, you know, to let you know that they're back again, right? And I was really excited to see it, but, uh, by any means, I don't think it's like a downright outstanding song, so. But, yeah, it's definitely really good to know blink is coming back, and, boy, have they ever aged, though, I'll, I'll tell you that. It looks like, uh, <laughs> Tommy Boy there, Tom DeLong's put on some pounds around the neck and the uh, head area. His head looks fat now, like, I don't know, it's just like, it looks like he just, it's like head guy inflated a little bit, and, I think Mark has always always looked like he's been old for his age, and uh, Travis looks the exact same. So that's it. Blink One Eight Two. Not too much else to talk about for music news or Hollywood Undead or Lincoln Park, my other favorite bands. And uh, yeah, so you know what though, Blink One Eight Two is the funny thing is I never featured them on my channel before. Um, I used to kind of like them back then. Was, you know, some of their famous songs like All the Small Things and like First Date and I Miss You, but like. And then I, I started listening to their songs again, and then I realized they were coming back, and I'm like, you know what, maybe I should consider myself as a Blink-182 hardcore fan, and just say, fuck My Chemical Romance, because, I mean, I only liked a few of their songs, so, I still am kind of a fan of them, but, uh, and I know they did a concert recently at Darien Lake with Blink-182, but, I don't think, I, sh I don't think I should classify them as, like, one of my favorite music groups anymore, so, the so Blink-182 goes along there now, and, uh, yeah, I know under side projects like Boxcar Racer. I love their two songs there is and uh I feel so. Those are two really good songs. Okay, so this podcast now is about almost seven minutes. Uh okay, I'm gonna get to the last one. This is the most emotional one. I have a hard time talking about guys. Uh it's the Russian plane crash. Uh terrible, terrible uh accident that happened that killed the uh, entire Ru Russian locomotive team that played from the KHL. They were on their way to the first game of the regular season in Belarus and the plane they were using I guess was like it was really old and um, I, from, why, from my understanding is that they weren't even supposed to take off in that plane because it was like a last minute decision that they, they actually wanted to change it because they had a feeling it wasn't um, it wasn't working well or something like that like it wasn't very malfunction and from what I understand when it took off, like, the plane just, um, I don't know, like, did it explode or crash into the water or something like that? I don't know. But I know that the, uh, the entire team died. And terrible. Just a terrible, terrible event in the hockey world. I'm not going to compare it to 9-11, um, because, well, it's almost the 9-11 10th anniversary. And, uh, there's going to be some interesting shows on that I'd like to check out. But, um, this is sort of like the 9-11 of hockey if you're any huge hockey fans out there. This was really terrible. Um, really shocked me to see that Pavel Dimitra and a lot of former NHLers died, including Igor Korolev and Alexander Karpatsev. Uh, to see those guys die, it was, well, just to hear, hear about it, it blew me away. I'm just like, and Carlos Scratchins and Rules and Soleil, these are guys that are just, were just in the NHL, you know what I mean? Terrible. And, and Stefan Leaf. I can't forget Stefan Leaf. People listening to this podcast probably have no idea who he was, but I thought he's one of the best goalies on an international level. Uh, dra drafted in the NHL, but never played. Just played a year in the AHL for the Red Wings AHL team. But um, he's one of the best goalies for the Syrian, which is the uh, Swedish Hockey League. And um, he just moved over to the Russian Hockey League and just finished a season there. So um, it, it just blew me away. Like Sometimes I just think of old, old videos of him of him in my mind and how he just won a Swedish championship not that long ago and now he's dead. So yeah, it's a huge shocker and I can't believe everyone on the plane died. I, I believe only like, maybe like one or two survived or something. I don't know. They're but they were like in grave condition, so they weren't looking very good. Um so yeah, so just a terrible day in the hockey world and it's gonna affect a lot of hockey fans, especially in Russia, especially the Russian NHLers. So very, very sad and today that's how I wanna end this uh third vlog and um well the nfl season starts tonight with the packers and saints looking at fo looking forward to check that out and the hockey season starts soon my bruins but it's going to be a tough hockey season a lot of crap has been going on around the nhl with gary bettman stuff however welcome back winnipeg jets and that's something to look forward to hope you guys have a good day i'm n1p the game seven music hero and i am out of here